Okay friends, I finally got to test out something that I always wanted to. Uh, it is like the question that I always had in my mind. Does Leica lens perform better on actually a Leica camera versus a Sony camera that I've been using so far with it? And yeah, managed to get my hands on M10R, which is like 40 megapixel Leica digital rangefinder camera. And also since I had like a 50G Master on me, I added this to the comparison as well and I'm gonna show you the usual side-by-side -side photos shot with uh, like the same lens on both cameras and then with the different lenses and different cameras and also a results from a blind test that I did with some of your folks and some of my friends and share with you my thoughts let's do it <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Magic, I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador, father of four children, welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel about photography, weddings and gear, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Okay, so Leica versus Sony in this uh, video, few uh, ground rules and disclosures before I start. So A7R 3 camera that I was using for the comparison is mine. And then a Leica Samilux 50mm f1.4 lens. It's also mine. I use it on an adapter with my Sony camera. There's also a video on the channel uh, about it. And then um, Leica M10R camera is not mine. I borrowed it from a Leica Warso store. Thanks so much. And then a 50G Master lens is also not mine. I have borrowed it from Sony Poland also. Thanks so much. So both of the cameras is like have the same megapixel count kind of because Sony has 42 megapixel while Leica has 40 megapixels, but that's close enough. Okay, more, more disclosures. I'm a Sony shooter as well. And before that, I've been a Canon shooter and I have never shot like the rangefinder camera on a daily basis. I maybe shot a few frames like here and there, but never actually used uh, a camera like this. So I am an experienced rangefinder shooter. The images that we're gonna be looking at are edited. Uh, why? Because, you know, I shoot raw, raw files are quite flat and then, you know, comparing those flat file files doesn't make much sense to me. And also I'm comparing for myself to see if I can get the same kind of image with both of these cameras or maybe, you know, like a superior in some ways in terms of color rendering or maybe Sony is superior um, somehow. So that is why I'm showing you a photos that I've edited and matched them to, you know, to achieve the same results. So there's that there's, in my opinion, there's no point of comparing JPEG files straight out of camera because like you have, you, you can have different profiles on them. You can actually have a custom profiles on Sony as well and make them, you know, completely custom for the JPEGs. But uh, I, I'll make a note on one photo and show you some JPEGs. So you just get the vibe of the difference as well. And last but not least, I'm not gonna try to prove you anything. Uh, I'm gonna just show you the photos, show you the side by side, share my thoughts from the perspective of like the currently Sony shooter, from the perspective of a working photographer who is enjoying a good glass, who's enjoying, you know, good contrast, color rendering and a bokeh on the photos. So there's that. I think we're ready to look at the images now. Okay, so let's look at the first set. The, the, this is like four photos, um, one scene. These are all shot by me. My, my wife is in these photos on a tripod. She wasn't moving. I was changing the cameras. So I was shooting Leica with Leica glass and then I was changing the camera to Sony and Leica glass. I also did like the um, 50G Master glass on this uh, comparison as well, but I'm not going to be comparing these images right now. These you can find on my website. Um, so make sure you check the link. Okay, so if we're looking at these photos, these four photos image wise, Sony looks on Sony versus Sony looks on Leica. 
when you match the colors, it's actually very hard to tell a difference. Obviously on Sony, there is a vignette because there is no automatic correction for the adapted lens. So you have to fix it manually later on in the post, but that's like the, the biggest difference here. Then it looks like the Leica um, frame is actually like a, a little bit wider. The aspect ratio is like, like slightly, slightly different. The image is a little bit wider. And I do think it's, it's just my opinion by looking at the photos that, that, you know, you get that little more stretch of, of the photo on the edges. So th that's a tiny difference. Uh, obviously this is the same lens. So bokeh is the same and the overall image look is uh, the same. Uh, what might be different? Um, the, the Leica photos might be a little bit less sharp and most likely this is due to me missing focus because I'm inexperienced again shooting a rangefinder. It was very hard to me to focus at f1.4 even though I was using live view but the live view on Leica is not as efficient. Uh, it doesn't work as great as on Sony. You cannot zoom that much in. And I think that focus picking that uh, shows on the screen is inaccurate, um, like at least when you are shooting at f1.4. So th this might be one small difference, but I do think that, you know, both will be uh, equally sharp because the, that's the same lens. Uh, and now color wise, of course, after I match them, these are nearly identical, like actually really very hard to tell a difference from, from the folks that were do, like taking the blind test from my images. So actually no one guessed correctly photo number one, there was zero correct answers. Then for, for the photo number two, there was like the, the four out of 10 people guessed it correctly. Then photo number three, half of the people guessed it correctly. And then photo number four, only two people got it correctly. So, so for, for like people looking at these images really struggle to see and a difference, but me editing these photos, I saw a difference when I was editing them. Uh, so color wise to match them, it did require a slight green hue adjustment and, you know, play around with the white balance sliders a, and a little bit of contrast. Uh, if you look at the straight out of camera JPEGs uh, in this photo, uh, they are quite different with the like is shifting towards green and Sony towards magenta. But again, I wasn't, you know, paying attention too much uh, to the settings of uh, of the colors for, for JPEGs here because I knew I was going to check the raw files. And after so after analyzing this first scene, I truly feel a little bit relieved um, because, you know, I was on that verge to being like, I, I have that really expensive Leica glass and I use it on Sony cameras. Maybe I should get a Leica camera because it's going to be better on the camera that it was designed to. But uh, after seeing these photos, I don't feel that would be a match for me. In fact, I think I might be even better off with using this glass on a Sony camera with this focus peaking system with the electronic viewfinder that I can use because this is what I am used too. But then on the other hand, there's, there's really something about holding that like camera. You can, you can feel what you are actually paying for. This is a $9,000 camera, so it's quite expensive, but you actually, when, when you hold it in your hands, you, you can feel it's heavy, it's well-crafted, it's well-designed. And actually, uh, even though it's not ergonomically even close to all the modern cameras these days, uh, you know, you, you feel really good with this camera. <laughs> and, and I do think that it's kind of like you would be wearing a really expensive and well-designed jewelry on you that makes you, you know, feel better. You feel better with this camera, but not only feel better, but I do think, you know, having this camera might even, you know, lead you to be more inspired when shooting and boost your creativity. Um, so like, I definitely see people wanting to spend a lot of money for that experience of shooting this camera. But let's go farther. Uh, test number two. So th this time also two cameras, M10R and A7R3, but this time I was using 50G Master on a Sony and I wasn't shooting with tripod. So I was just trying to match, you know, the compositions on two shots. I have two cameras on me and was just like taking one photo and then taking second camera and taking one photo. And there's one more difference in this set of photos, like all this before it was overcast. It was completely overcast while here I, I had like a sunny day. I had like a sunset coming in. So I also think that both glass and the sensor will react a little bit differently 
to the, the, the light. So yeah, let's look at these side-by-side uh, -side portraits. Uh, fr from my blind test, again, this part seemed to be easier to spot the difference uh, than the previous one because like we're talking obviously about different lenses here. So actually different image uh, produced by these two lenses while before we had the same lens on different sensors. So it was way harder to tell the difference, especially after me matching the colors. But here we have different lenses. So the image is, is quite different. So it was like most people guessed like half correctly and half wrong. So even here, it wasn't as easy as you would think. Looking at these images, you can definitely tell that Sony has this more clean look, like it's, it's sharper and it's just, you know, cleaner. Cleaner, that, that, that's the word I think <laughs> works uh, here. Even though shooting at f1.2 versus Leica, um, like Leica has this softness on top of the image somehow, but, and I'm not talking about out of focus, you know, uh, or image not being sharp. It's just this layer of softness that like underneath this layer, you have that micro contrast things that makes this image looks different. I, I don't know if you see it, like I kind of see it. I saw it when I was editing these photos. Um, so, so that is my impression of, of what it is and this images and uh, yeah again you can check these photos as well on the website and and let me know in the comments do you see that difference do you not see that difference does it make sense to you what i'm talking about right now but also the skin tones were easier to control i think on on leica again especially with sun there's a one disappointment though because i like a glass it's known for giving like amazing flares and i use it on my sony uh, very often to have these images with very nice flares in it while um, this time on Leica like I had two images with flare and they don't look good like one has like this big purple magenta blob of of whatever it is on the sensor that ruins the image uh, even though there's a flare and then in the second photo there's actually some kind of shadow on the top of the image from I don't know what this is weird I have never seen anything like this on this lens with my Sony cameras. So I'm super surprised to see that on a Leica camera. Maybe that was like like really weird angle of light coming in and, and this is what happened. But, but yeah, that was weird. <laughs> and overall, to be honest, I, I really liked both. So I'm getting myself a 50G Master, that's, that's for sure. I'm waiting for my copy to arrive. As for work, I feel that this is 100% lens for me. It's amazing, I can rely on it, I can shoot f1.2, I can have amazing sharpness and amazing background blur and really great image even compared to a Leica Summilux, which is a legendary lens. Um, also, I'm keeping my Summilux lens that I'm gonna be using on my Sony cameras uh, to produce flares, to have that maybe, you know, when I have some more time and I, uh, I don't need to rely on AF system, I can just play around with this Leica lens. And yeah, luckily to my wallet, I'm not spending $9,000 on M10R camera, but I did like the experience of shooting it. So I'm still hunting for a Leica M6 a camera for my personal work because I would love to have like camera like like rangefinder with my uh, Summilux for my personal stuff when I don't have to be fast where when I don't have to be 100% accurate all the time or you know I'm allowed to miss shots to learn from my mix mistakes to be you know an experienced rangefinder shooter just playing around with nice image and with very well crafted design body. And since M6 is like, like nearly identical to M10R in terms of the overall, you know, feel and the look of the camera, I think this is uh, what I'm gonna go for in terms of Leica. So what do you guys think about it? Uh, for me, <laughs> nothing changes. Getting G Master, keeping Sony looks and shopping for M6 camera. Do you guys shoot Sony? Do you guys shoot Leicas? Do you shoot Leicas on Sony on, or Leicas or Leicas? Uh, let me know in the comments, check the photos and see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.